Okay, due to the miracle of recorded sound, we're going to take a slight bit of a tour down the road. Hello, Chris. Hello, JDF. We're down the road in Cafe 55, and we have the manager to tell us all about it. Um, and I've got lots of que well, a few questions written down as well. Okay, oh, so I'll put the phone down. So, um, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Terry. I'm from Cafe 55 in Northern East Street in Exeter, uh, where we run a unique cafe uh, for every community or for people in the community, whether they're able-bodied or disabled, can come and feel in a friendly environment. So, over to you, Chris. Okay, so why, um, what's the cafe called, Terry? Well, the cafe's called 55. Um, it's named after uh, the year that uh, Sense was set up in 1955 uh, and what makes it a bit more special the customers and the people of Sense within Exeter actually named the cafe so it's, uh, it's sort of a, a nice uh, memento for those guys and isn't there a pra patron of the cafe as well yes there is Chris so uh, Royal Highness it's just as Princess Royal Highness is the patron of, uh, of Cafe 55. Okay. So, sorry about that. Um, adding a little bit there. Um, so, what type of environment do you see the cafe being? Well, the cafe itself is, is a great environment for everybody of walks of life, whether there's disabilities, whether they're blind, whether they're, they're hard of hearing, the deaf-blind community, anybody in a wheelchair or anybody that's, that's able-bodied come into the cafe. Uh, everybody here is friendly and uh, we are um, one of the most friendliest played people going or places to go. Everybody here that are here are really, really friendly to everybody. Um, so we're obviously we're trying to get as many people in, in as we possibly could. Okay, and um, I've come down here a little bit myself, and um, I've always seen lots of different stuff. Your wages bill must be quite high. No, Chris, it's not. The actual um, staffing is run by volunteers. Uh, we, we work with uh, different organisations within the community. We work with the Deaf Academy, uh, give work experience with them. West of England School of the Blind, uh, we have one or two for them. We work with St Lloyd's Foundation, and also we've got one that uh, comes from Hebway, uh, from down on the quay. Uh, so our, 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 our costings are very, very low, so that means that our prices are very low. Uh, so it's obviously passed on to the customer. Oh yes, and in on that point, JD said your cakes are very nice. Ah uh, well, JD knows what our cakes are like. <laughs> JD comes down as a cake every Thursday after the show with plenty of cream. I let any secret out now. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh... But JD's back in the studio. Are you talking about me down there? Are you? Not a thing, JD. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've got a reputation with the old cake department down there, I know. But I'm coming. <laughs> oh, why would people want to come to Cafe 55 compared to another coffee shop? For namesake, cost of coffee. Well, we are cheap. Yeah. Uh, the prices are a lot lower than Costa. For the price of Costa price, you can get a coffee and a cake for, for cheaper than, than the price of coffee. Um, again, everything is reasonable price. 
Um, our specials are four pounds, coffee's a pound, cakes are two pounds. So we are very, very reasonable priced. And, uh, and that's why we really want people to come in and see us. And people would feel safe and it's a fun environment for them to come. Exactly, everybody is safe here. And when I asked that question earlier, you said it's awesome, which I agree with. Oh, of course we're awesome. All the staff are awesome here, Chris, you know that. Yeah, uh, the, the Alice and Kath who are over there. Yes, we have Alice in today from St Lloyd's and Kath, which is a support worker. So, uh, we're great, great, uh, great guys. Okay. And, well, I do want to have what the meaning of life is. But I don't think we got enough time to go into that. No, we haven't, Chris. So I'd Trust like, me. Okay. I'd like to say, well, thank you for being such a great guest, and hopefully JD will come down and eat lots of cake. I'm on my way. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not before you got my copy of the show. Hello? What, sir? Uh, <laughs> I said, uh, don't do too... Let Terry cook your cake first. OK, I won't. Is that it, then? Okay. Because uh, I've got some boys at the uh, door here knocking very loudly and they want to do their show. So I'm going to play the last track. Is that OK? Yes, that's fine. I'd like to say thank you to Terry for being a guest and I hope lots of people come in as a result of this interview. OK, and go to get that squirty cream out. I'm on my way. And taste JD's awesome cake. OK, thank you, Chris. Okay, See you in a bit. Bye. JD, bye. Okay, that we good, thank you. <laughs> See you.